Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dan Daily. Today's episode is about how to maintain your credit. If you need help on how to fix your credit, be sure to check my, check out my other video as well. I'll have the link down in the description below. Now, banks and credit card companies use credit scores as one of the main ways to assess a potential borrower's credit worthiness. Maintaining a good credit score by making wise financial decisions will ensure that you can borrow when you need or want uh, to, such as, you know, in case you just want to make more money. <laughs> now, the very first thing uh, on this before we get into it is to review your credit score. Now, before you improve or maintain your credit score, you'll need to know what your score is. So you can check out your score by accessing your FICO score at myfico.com or by contacting one of the credit reporting agencies such as TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. Anyone will do. For a simpler option, you can get your credit score for free from a website like creditkarma.com, creditsesame.com, or credit.com. All good websites and all free. So, and I am all about free and cost effectiveness. And the next thing is understand what your credit score means. There are five main factors that the credit score formulas are based off of. The very first one is payment history. Whether or not payments were made on time, your payment history score will be negatively impacted if you've been late on payments in the last several months to several years. Yes, it can affect you negatively for several years if you're not on time. Amounts owed, which is number two. The ratio of the amount of outstanding credit in your name to the total approved credit in your name. Now, generally, you want to use less than 30% of your total credit, which is ideal because that is what they base it off of, and that's one of the big, uh, big factors that they use. Number three, length of credit history. Now, scores are based on how far back your credit history goes. Credit bureaus have access to data from 10 years prior to the last use of every line of credit in your name. If you don't have a lot of credit history, this score can be low, but it will not be weighed as heavily. So nothing to worry about there, but you still want to work on it. Number four, types of debt owed. The mix of debt outstanding in your name uh, is what they consider in this case. The scores, uh, the scores consider, consider whether you have a lot of debt in credit cards or whether your debt is balanced between college loans, a mortgage, a small line of credit, you name it. A healthy mix is good, but only if necessary. Now, so just, you know, before we even go on any further, don't rush to get another loan just because I said that and because it helps your credit score. Don't do it, not if it's not necessary. Uh, five, new credit. The amount of new credit you have been approved for and accepted. The more you borrow in a short period of time, the lower this part of your score. So you wanna be careful to not borrow too much within a short period of time. Now, on to maintaining your score. So those were the basics before we jump in. Okay, now, on to how to maintain your credit. Number one, don't use all your credit. As a rule of thumb, aim to have an outstanding balance of less than one-third of the amount you were approved for on credit cards. More specifically, less than 30%. Stick to a budget to guide you on your spending and make sure you don't overuse your credit. Number two, take out credit slowly. The new credit portion of your credit scores considers the amount of your total credit that was recently borrowed. The more money you borrow in a short span of time, the riskier you look as a borrower in the eyes of the bank. So obviously if you want a higher score, you don't want to look risky to the banks you are trying to apply with. In other words, spread out your big purchases if you can. That'll help. Over a couple months, if you can, that it would be very good. Number three, diversify your debt. It's better for your credit score that you have a mix of different kinds of debts, like a mortgage, auto loan, school loan, a credit card, uh, than uh, than a, a lot of debt in just one card of credit line. Again, don't just rush out there to apply and to get a loan just for the heck's sake to improve your score. It's not worth it. Only do that if you need to. 
Number four, keep using the same credit cards. Your credit report goes all the way back to the very first transaction associated with any card you have used in the last decade. And that means 10 years. And the longer your credit history, the better for your score. Now, this does not mean you shouldn't open new credit card, new accounts. Just that you should hold on to the accounts that you have had for a while, especially the old ones. If you have had a card since you were 17 or 18, keep using it every once in a while. The fact that you've paid it off consistently over a long period of time will boost your score. And lastly, number five, don't get obsessed with your credit score. Credit scores are just one factor that lenders consider when you apply for credit cards or loans. Just as important, sometimes even more so, are your employment status, your income, and the amount of any down payment you make. So those are considered very crucial as well. Now, credit cards and credit goes up and down as your credit history, your length of credit history, and your situation changes. So don't fret over it. Takeaway is just do what you do what you can, especially if you do all the things in this video. And after a while, your scores will get better as banks and credit card companies report your status over time. And if you have any questions or have any concerns, feel free to message me down below. I look at all my comments and I respond back. Um, I hope. I hope you found video I hope you found value in this video and if you did please hit the like button it would mean the world to me and please hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks to keep your finances in check until next time this is Dan Daly